Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Moonstone Matriarchy, an all-girl D&D campaign with strong, beautiful women that kick out inside the game and outside of the game. I'm Jessica. I go by I Sneeze Stars or D in Denial online, and I will be your shenanigan sovereign this evening. Very quickly, I'm going to run you through our, um, what's that stuff? our schedule that we have on our channel, and um, and then I'll hand it over to my players. So. Monday nights, we have the Iowan Adventures at 7.30 p.m. EST, uh, DM'd by myself. Uh, Tuesday nights, we have State of the Union, a Shadowrun campaign, at, also at 7.30 p.m. EST, um, DM'd by at Cottlesworth, featuring Katie and myself. And um, Thursday nights, for the rest of this month, we have The Lost Continent at 8 p.m. EST, DM'd by Mr. Markham. Um, Friday nights, we have The Legends of Kralis at 10 p.m. EST, a TTRPG created and GM'd by Telerius Game Master. And three Saturdays a week, we have The Moonstone Matriarchy. Um, don't forget to uh, follow us on TikTok and YouTube and all of that stuff and join our t Discord and whatever. And also, oh, yes, uh, ladies that have websites. I have given you a code in the chat that you could just like a bang command and you can just uh, put your links up whenever you want. Um, I'll do it for you tonight and then you can, yeah, take it from there. Sorry, so, a bang command? A bang, <laughs> yeah, okay. So like, uh, uh, I'll show you. Um, what kind of websites <laughs> are we talking about? Of course it sounds dirty 80s. to Katie. Who have a oh. website. I made a bang <laughs> command for you. <laughs> Obviously. Katie, it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. Uh, I am Dungeon Mistress Katie. Uh, speaking of things that sound dirty that aren't, um, I am on here tonight. Uh, as Jess said, I am also here on Tuesday nights. Um, on Wednesdays, I'm playing Yellow Power Ranger on Shadows and Nox. Um, and on Sundays, I play a very chaotic and stabby little person in Call of Cthulhu because all of my characters are stabby. Apparently, it's what I do. Um, but yeah. Um, and if I'm not here uh, online someplace, I'm probably singing somewhere or doing some tarot or whatever. I don't know. Um, yeah, so uh, tonight I play Rosin Alara. She is a uh, an elf. She is a Eladrin. It's been a minute since I played her, so I've forgotten what she is. Um, she's an Elad an Eladrin elf rogue, and she's feeling stabby tonight. Uh, <laughs> Scarlet. Hi, I'm Scarlet. I make dragons all the time. You could buy them on my website because they are stickers. Uh, Brevin. <laughs> GM of Brevin. Oh, hi. Thank you. Hi. Uh, my name is... Hey, how are you? 
I guess we're all all feeling like bang bang into the room kind of situations. Um, my name is GM of Revan. You can call me in. I make really terrible jokes. Uh, you can find me on my channel GM of Revan, where I DM for some really amazing players Tuesday nights. Uh, usually it's Strands of Fate. Uh, that's a D and D live play, and also uh, Fridays I DM um god wars which is a super high powered super level campaign with op characters at level 20 but not level 20 because it's osr advanced D, D. so for those of you who like power gaming i'm your game master because who cares about real life let's isekai this ish and obviously i'm joined by these amazing boss babes these incredible powerful strong independent and emotionally intelligent women with gorgeous hair and amazing attitudes and just kicking ass in the moonstone matriarchy just like characters with up stories <laughs> Nice segue. Um, I'm Star. Uh, characters Without Stories is the name of my podcast in which I interview people about characters they haven't had a chance to play yet for any TTRPG. And tonight I'm... What? <laughs> I need your link so you can you can start linking to that. It's super easy. It's characterswithoutstories.com. Yep. I'm going to do that right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm Star Mama C on TikTok. Um Every else characters of that stories and tonight i'm playing cappy who is a heron gone wild magic sorcerer with all of the family drama and i'm going to pass it over to mommy kalik hi i'm your local grandma um <laughs> i'm mommy kalik wow words uh words are hard uh i run goddess tika and i'm here every almost every sunday most of, uh, Saturday. It's Saturday today, isn't it, guys? It is Saturday. Who would have ever thunk it? I played Delphra, um, a Winter Eladrin, uh druid, wildfire druid thingy. And I think that no, Thunder Mrs. Katie. If you no, she went. I think that's everyone. Um, I, I'm losing it. It's okay. Uh, do you want to do the recap? Yeah, let's let's okay. do that. <laughs> oh, okay. <no. laughs> yeah. Uh, oops. Uh, so last time on the Moonstone Matriarchy, uh, we picked up in the Chamber of Eternity after chatting for a little bit about Cappy's brother, Sin writing a letter to the darkness, and Ross talking about a deal with Nix. That uh, Nix is awkward. Her. Wow. Maybe I should have recited this. Uh, which he was firmly advised not to do, just FYI and a reminder. Um, <laughs> we moved out for our regular shenanigans. First, Cappy explored and eventually found their brother, her, their brother, Norna, in a hall of mirrors, which was used to project or somehow bring about memories, which Norna used uh, after some talk to show Cappy memories of their father, including the moment he natured himself to protect Cappy's brothers and how Cappy's mother seems to have suffered post birthing Cappy. Wow. And I'm also sweating, guys. How are you tonight? I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> Forcing the brothers to basically raise her. Sin followed a hunch and soon in, and some advice into the catacombs where she encountered brother Oswald, which by the way, very nice looking. Um, Shipping that so hard. Yeah. And also likes tea. Well, then again, who doesn't like tea? Um, got distracted by chat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, is that ADHD? Is that you? Um, after all the bonding that uh with oswald she briefly deconstructs her trauma and cries in his arms before leaving to see the rest of the group rosalind follows her will-o'-wisp around it constantly chattering at her uh in bells until she passes lady seraph 
who begins to translate the bells and tells her the wisp is actually the spirit of Rosalind's lost dead best friend, Val. In other words, other parts of the game wow autocorrect auto fucked me <laughs> delphra summons quartzly and helps lady marigold tend to the garden the fox spirit getting solidly mud muddied in very happy fashion to the other side of the field sir G gimsby and anemone square off in a friendly challenge which leaves anemone once again flustered and solidly embarrassed uh, eventually admitting uh, uh, that flirting, that the flirting Grimsy is doing is just not her type. He still invites her back for his amusement <laughs> uh, whenever she feels like giving him a laugh, which was mostly in good spirits and not intended in any way, harshly, even though he was turned down. Once the group mostly gets together, Ross begins to explain about Val. Delphra gets a bit of a hint, having been mostly dead, uh, that they can sort of decipher the bells that Val is speaking. And the little wisp is eventually decoded to please don't come find me. And now I will politely shut up. Okay, so you guys, uh, you went to, breath, uh, to dinner last night. Is there anything that anyone wants to do or do we skip through the night skip through the night yeah i don't yeah. i can't think of anything yeah. off the top of my head that needs doing okay. yeah so you sleep through the night in the morning you all awake in your beds what do you do I want to talk to Fleety if he'll come and and talk. Oh, to I'm me. sure he'll come. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just give him a moment. <laughs> he won't need long. Uh, okay, what do you what are you doing? Um, I think. Well, I don't. I'll try calling him like I usually do and see if he responds. Okay. See so you, Fleety. Mm -hmm. Fleety and. Are you, what are you, like, are you in bed? Are you dressed? What's, where, oh, where dressed. are you in your room? You're dressed, you're sitting <laughs> on the bed. Are you dressed or are you naked? <laughs> are you naked? Yeah, I'm naked in bed. Wait, Lady, you're, 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 you're a rabbit. rabbit. Do you wear pants as a rabbit or are you kind of no. like, okay, Donald so you're Duckett like. constantly? Donald just Duckett. constantly. Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, so we don't just, have to worry like about whether or not you're dressed. For, for fun. You for know. fun colors. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. You call for him. Uh, roll me, roll me a um, a persuasion check because he doesn't immediately appear. Oh, oh it's rolling in roll twenty. That's what it is. Oof, that's an eight. An eight. Okay. Um, you don't. He doesn't seem to just pop in like he normally does. Uh, some time goes by. And you hear, yes, Capandra. And that's it. <laughs> uh, can, can we talk? Now? Are you busy? And then there's, like, no response for another, like, minute. And then he shows up in front in front of you, just in his elven form, just sort of appears. Yes. Hi. Yes, my little lucky rabbit's foot. <laughs> um, I, I feel kind of bad about how we left it last time. I, I kind of told you to leave and... I, I don't know that I, I'm necessarily saying that I was, um, well, I I did want to be alone, but it wasn't because I don't like you. Do you know what I mean? No, Are... not at all. Sorry. <laughs> um, 
I just been thinking and I was kind of Wait, wondering hang on. a dangerous pastime. A dangerous pastime, I know. <laughs> <laughs> he flops onto the bed. So I um you know, I'm I'm learning all kinds of things about what happened and you know, I think at some point I'm probably going to have to talk to mother. It it might be kind of good to have you uh have I guess have you back up your side of what happened because I have a feeling she's probably going to want to just lie. Um most likely. Right. So I, I would appreciate if you could help when it gets to that and then when things get heated you're going to tell me to go away again no well okay so in that argument with my brothers i i think sometimes i feel like you don't take me seriously me yeah i my brothers are important to me and I just felt like you're you weren't being serious about it sometimes you need to be serious and like you're so much fun but he's like what is this what is happening right now <laughs> I I guess I um I don't like do you take me seriously of course I take you seriously. He said in the most unserious way possible. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I, guess... I take you seriously? Why do you want to be taken seriously? What is this about? You said you loved me, right? Yes, my noodle. And he, you get like a little scritch on your nose as he tries to like pull you to him. Of course I do. Oh, okay. Why? You see him. He lets go of you, crosses his arms, thinks about it. What do you mean, why? Well, I just do. I decided I loved you, so I do. But I mean, you could decide you love anyone and then love them and they could be terrible and it doesn't matter. No, because I love them. It doesn't really make me feel. Are you special? terrible? Special? I don't think so. Well, then what's the problem? You want me to be your queen and you don't even know me and you said you loved me before I'd even met you. I don't understand that. How am I supposed to to trust that you have good intentions if you don't even know or have a reason for how you feel? Like, why did you even want a baby elf I didn't. It's what she offered. You could and have I've just had bad not food. taken the offer. I could have, yes. But then the poor children that were crying on the floor would have died. You could have helped without taking any sort of offer. Why would I do that? He, looks, he seems genuinely perplexed. Fucking Faye. Yeah. Just. I, there was no deal. I didn't do anything. When the deal came, I helped. I think we're very different. Yes, I'm Faye. And you're a bunny. You're such a cute bunny. And he's like squishing your little cheekies. I'm like looking up at him because I'm yeah. really short. 
Okay, I have one more question. Okay. Can you change me into an elf temporarily? Do you want to be? Just temporarily. He snaps his fingers and this whirlwind of of snow and like snowflakes just cocoons you and when it is gone what do you look like well i think he described what i look like as a teenager so i imagine like my family tall very tall very blonde very pale um very stereotypical elf um i think oh god am i naked <laughs> you're wearing just a robe and no pants <laughs> no he uh yeah he gave you like a robe, robe. <laughs> he, he actually like you came back with a robe he was he's <laughs> he's not a monster <laughs> like wait a minute <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a nice silky uh, robe yeah Oh, this is quite nice. Um, yeah, I think I, just like, you know, beautiful in a very, you know, high elf kind of way. Um, and yeah, I. Do you think this is this what I would have looked like if I'd never been a bunny? Yes. I just undid the curse. Temporarily? I could put it back. I'm not sure. Sure to be a bunny, I'll make you a bunny. I I don't know if I want that. I just um I, I kinda just wanted to see. It's weird having hands again. It's been a while. He takes one of your hands and he brings it up to his mouth and he gives it a kiss. He goes, still they are lovely hands. And then he Moves you so that you're looking into the mirror. Um, yeah, I look in the mirror. This is really... I'm not sure. I'm not really not quite sure how I feel about this, but it's um, interesting, for sure. You're beautiful. But you're beautiful as a bunny, too. Thank you guy's really into bunnies he is into anything (laughs) (laughs) he can shift into whatever he wants he is into Uh anything (laughs) what you really should be asking is bunny standards am i one to ten where am i bunny (laughs) standard (laughs) the most beautiful bunny Uh, there's probably not a lot of like four foot tall bunnies around you know it's like when you're the only one you're the cutest one uh he comes up behind you and puts an arm around your you and says what's the problem capandra i just don't i don't know what to think of you and I get, I mean, I like, I like being around you, but I just don't know, I don't really, I can't really get a read on on how you feel about me, and I don't, I don't really, I I just, I just feel like you're just here for no reason. I'm not here for no reason, I'm here he stops. I'm here to collect. So, when I'm just a transaction. Now, but you won't be. When your mother made the deal, it wasn't just her unborn child she still 
bargained. She still had the wherewithal to bargain for power for you. You would come and you would live in my castle and you would have a place of honor. What kind of honor? Well, I'm giving you a queen. Never had a queen before. I feel like queen's a very good place of honor. What does queen mean to you? I mean, you could help me rule my people. Never had a queen before. Could be fun. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly... Could be fun! <laughs> you would be above everyone in Eustace. My equal. I guess I'm, I'm not really... I, I think maybe that we have different ideas about a, what a queen is. Because here, queens are usually married to the king and all of that. Yeah, we are going to be married. Okay, so... And I am the king. Okay. I'm very confused. So am I. I'm also very confused. I don't know what kind of relationship you want from me. I mean, ideally, we would make lots of bunnies together. <laughs> I'm an elf now, so I can yeah. blush. <laughs> yeah, he turns you back to face him. <laughs> what do you want? And he's got, like, he's biting his lip a little. Like, oh. like he do. Oh. Uh. I kiss him. Immediately oh. kisses you back. <laughs> and it is nice. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. Okay. Um, <laughs> he takes a step back. I uh, that was unexpected. How wonderful! Yeah, that was unexpected. I not. Um. I I I gotta go to breakfast now. I I'm sure they're waiting for me. I don't want to keep them waiting. Um. I. I guess I'll see you later. Call me when you speak with your mother. Okay. But I do have to go home. Every time I'm away, lots of time passes. How much time? Hard to say. I went home and took a nap and 25 years had passed here. Sometimes I'm here and a couple years pass there. Feywild doesn't have the same rules as your plane. Okay. Um Okay, I uh I guess I'll see you later. Do you want me to turn you back into a bunny? Oh. I uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess you should. Okay. And he gives you a quick kiss on the cheek. And then snaps his fingers again, and that snowstorm goes around you, and you're back into your bunny form. Um, did he, is he gone, or is he still there? He's there. For, he's gonna, he's waiting oh. for you to say that he can go. Yeah, you can go. Thank you. Okay. And then he's gone. Immediately. He just turns around and walks away. And he, into nothing. What do you do? Um, okay. Uh, I guess I should go to breakfast. Kathy had a, the best kiss of their life just now. <laughs> yeah, like they even, they, they even skipped hopped out of there like nobody's business. <laughs> I mean, I um, imagine I haven't had a lot of kisses being like one of no other four foot tall bunnies. It's not like there's a lot of prospects for. For bunny. That's true. 
Uh, is there anything anyone else wants to do before you all join downstairs for breakfast? Anemone is looking at herself in the mirror, having taken a deep breath, and she'll say, like, <laughs> there will be no potatoes today. <laughs> no potatoes. I'm like, I'm like, where are you looking at yourself in the mirror? <laughs> She's just looking straight at her face. There will be okay, your no, face. <laughs> no potatoes. <laughs> no embarrassing moments. Not today. She talks, Anemone talks herself up, just like, okay. Those are her like morning, her morning fucking <laughs> mantras now. No so potatoes. <laughs> this is this is important now. No potatoes. No potatoes. <laughs> oh, except I like the hash browns, but no potatoes. <laughs> we don't. Pota potatoes. They're not potatoes. They're hash browns. It's no fine. Uh... Yeah. Virgin. <laughs> Virgin. Uh, potatoes. Will... Potatoes. <laughs> and she's like, okay, all right, great. Okay. Other thing I need to ask is if Sin knows that goddess. Okay. This, do I know what? Um, and Emily is gonna open the door. She's gonna close it. She's smart enough. She probably knows something. Okay. Uh, where's her door? Uh, that one. Okay. Knock, knock, knock. Uh, Sin. Just a minute. Uh, you hear like a ruffling of like books dropping and a gown <laughs> a dressing gown being like grabbed open the door oh annie hi. hi good morning i hope i didn't interrupt you oh no you okay. can tell she's got like her, her makeup's like all messed up and her eyes are like totally bloodshot would, would you like to would you like to wash up before breakfast certainly would you like to wait in the drawing room uh uh yeah yeah i can i wherever you want me um i have a question like, for you oh yeah. yes yep and you know how like girls kind of like when when you're sitting with other girls and one girl is just getting around basically whirlwinding getting ready for the day while the other one's like so i have a question <laughs> yeah, yeah i'm like quickly <laughs> trying to fix everything yeah. and yeah so and Emily's like i know this is kind of weird but i have a question for you have you ever in your books heard of of a goddess named Orlyanth? because in tight uh what was the name <laughs> of the god <laughs> that's the goddess's name Orlyan. or are you I don't understand common, okay? It's not my first language. Oh, uh, do I know anything about, do I recognize the name of this god? Um, As a religious uh, and expert? And she's going to try to spell it, and she's like, it's like O-R-E-L-A-N-T-H. <laughs> that does not sound anything like what Orly you know. Orlia? That doesn't, it, you, it's just not. It's not Orlean. clicking for you at all. Do you know Orlean? Do you know uh, what this is the god of or who? No, I I just don't like. I just know that it's a god and it. Where did you hear it's of this a god. god? Um, when we were last here in Tenebrosa, there was just this whole situation. Uh, I forgot about it, but I remembered when we were going through stuff, like, and also because I had time to think last night, which I rarely do. Um. Because thinking hurts my brain sometimes, and Annie, I'm just Annie, Annie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what was the circumstances? Um, it's okay. Here, have some tea. She's gonna unholster her <laughs> nicest teacup and offer you, and, and go over and make you a tea and hand it to you, and then um, sit with you and like hold your hands. And and he's gonna just make sure she gingerly holds the tea. She's like, maybe you should. Maybe not this one. Do you have something a little bit more wood? More wood. <laughs> She's like, Give her an oolong. I've Give her never oolong. made a wood tea before. Would oh, I wood, wood tea cup? Like a, the cup. The cup. I, I feel oh, like it's too. Oh, 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 oh. Um, <laughs> oh, I, baby. I'm, I'm pretty sure I know the mending spell. So if you okay, crack it, okay. it's okay. You can have okay. this one. If Thank I you. trust you. She, 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 she very gently tries to do that and she puts it down kind of like afraid she's gonna break it um okay i think that's really yummy what is in that mm. it's a little bit fruity i like it it's yes, got also I like like to add some apple and mm. a little bit of a spicy citrucy mm. yeah it, 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 she'll Ooh. display there's like a whole like a 
a splay Ooh. of like tea kettles and spices and like the whole Ooh. vanilla cinnamon Ooh, i like it this is a good blend <laughs> oh my god that sounds I like so it. good i like, know i kind of mm, want to go yeah. boil mm. a cuddle right now right Hot tea <laughs> break, guys. Um, it's um, like it's like a non-alcoholic apple cider i love it mm. yeah this, this is really good oh, oh thank normally they just oh, call it anyway. apple cider yeah. like usually <laughs> scarlet yeah, yes. Can you give me because you're still gonna go over it for her? Uh okay. can you give me a history check? Mm -hmm. Let me pull up my character sheet. It'll um, just take a second. Well, that's happening. Annie's gonna explain that. Well, she was thinking about it because of a conversation she had briefly with um while she was in that prayer place and she's like i remember something about this and she's trying to figure out whether or not it's related to stuff from last time Nat that they were here Nat 20. Nat 20? Nat 20. Nat 20. Nat okay Nat 20. so as you've made her her your tea this tea and you're sitting there going or orlean orlean and like you're you're going through your head you're like yeah. oh hang on hang on you remember um or Orleanth. Orleanth. The goddess Orleanth. The goddess Orleanth. <laughs> what do I know about the goddess Orleanth? Um, you know that it, the word itself, you know, means um, golden or radiant. Okay. And the suffix anth of it would normally be referred to for dragon like beings. So you're. Okay. So etymology wise, it kind of sounds like dragon ish plus radiant like radi or light. radiant dragon or something like that. And then okay. for a second with that Nat 20, you go, you remember back to the first time you met Obsidian mm -hmm. and how he said that she that Anemone should look into this goddess because she was a radiant dragon. Um, the one that took his eyes. Oh, so is my history uh, check recalling that conversation with that the conversation dragon? as well as you knowing you have heard of a dragon goddess of light and radiance and stuff like that. OK, you don't know much about her. Because, okay. I mean, again, that's not something that you fully She's not went into. really our concern yeah. as far as like she is stories. She is. Only stories that um are passed around in draconic families. They draconic aren't... families like that behave like that interact with mortals, like um yes, but in small doses. So okay. dragons would know about her. Okay. Right? Um, some dragon um dragonborn might know about her, but it's not something from here. Or as what you what you can um what you know is that it's not something from this realm. You know what? Based on that word, I'm going to assume that it is a draconic deity. Not really my area of expertise, but I am in with the librarian here. So maybe we could go see if they have any records or sorry, you're there with him right now and that's why your makeup is smudged? Is that what I understand? Oh happening? no, the librarian is Galen yeah. and she is not here. Uh I'm here alone and my makeup <laughs> is smudged because I've been doing this all night as I read these books about the shadow sure. language. <laughs> I don't know whatever you mean. <laughs> I am busy. <laughs> I didn't realize that Roz was that skilled. Roz, you're not that skilled. How did you she get just into... comes out of nowhere? What's like, how did you? How, what? <laughs> Roslyn is at, so this whole thing, this whole campaign is the disembodied voice of Jess, our narrator. And it, it's, it's like inside Roslyn's head. No, Roslyn is like being told the story and she oh. just butts in every once in a while with these like questions. The little, it's like the kid in the Princess Bride. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so Wait, Jess, is the, Jess is the grandpa, grandfather and, yes. uh, and Roslyn and... is the kid. Yes, yes, that's savage, yeah. Actually, that's that's how be a this... kissing book, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Except she's excited <laughs> about it being a kissing heart. book. Yeah. Parted by pirates is good. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, um, uh, Annie's gonna look at you and she's like, that's interesting. I know my people in Terramora, we worship dragon deities. Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't know this deity, though. No, that's not the dragon deity I worship. I, well, I, I don't know how I feel about it. I'm still processing and it takes me a long time to process my feelings. Um, uh, take all the time you need. yeah, Um, actually, which, yeah. um, give me, Anemone, give me a history check. Okay. Oh, wow. Good job, girl. 17 plus... One eighteen. That's really good. You know Yeah. what? Uh, you remember that Eli's tribe used to worship a goddess of, like a, a dragon goddess of radiance. Hmm. So you do know of them. Well, that sounds familiar. Um, I don't know, like, he, he, he's my childhood friend, but my childhood friend, his name is Eli, he's kind of hot. Um, he, uh, Everybody's hot. no, like, he's, 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 he's really good looking. Um, but, uh, yeah, anyway, um, Is there a reason you ask? Is this is there something troubling you? well, Remember when Obsidian was talking to us, right? And he was talking about like me looking over this dragon goddess situation or that name. Um, you see my eye? You know how it's kind of fucked up in the one eye? Oh, I didn't realize it was fucked up. I just thought Oops, that sorry, was I'm not supposed to swear how. on the stream. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, no, no. Are we not allowed to swear in the stream? Are we? Are we? Are we? Are we not? Are we good? You could What? swear. I Okay, swear awesome. all the fucking Yeah. time. Great. I'm like, Great. that's Thank you. a white I'm word. like, Yeah, wait, all the no. time. My Sin brain is being just that froze. white. Like, I wasn't assuming that it was Thank messed you. up or I, fucked I, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, Thank I you. swore during the freaking intro. Fuck. <laughs> Oh, Which yeah. game? Sorry. What game A lot was of I these swearing words. all the time and I got in trouble? I think there was a one shot with one of y'all and I kept getting called out for swearing and I was like, I can't believe I keep forgetting to not swear. Oh, I'm so man. glad we moved our Power Rangers game off of Rebel Turnus. I love Rebel Turnus, but it's much more family friendly. Uh, yes. so now that we're on Shadows of Nox, they were like, go forth, uh, Go do what forth you and do. swear. And I was, it was just our intros. And like somebody said something, and I, I said fuck like four or five times within like a very small amount of time. And Eric's like, how did we get through on Rebel Turnus without you swearing all the time? I'm like, I usually said fuck once because I forgot. And then I would remember. I do have a filter if needed sometimes. But here we are. So I don't have to. Mm -hmm. yay okay so anyway she says that in in like anyway i bad messy um i've had this for a while actually i've had this when i joined up the um well when i joined up and, and started training with him as a moonling but only because my friend eli said that i should probably go here since my tribe they're they're dead kind of situation unalive situation it's it's a whole thing it's neither here or there anyway i thought i would ask you about orleanth or orleans Yes, or Orleans. ori i'm gonna call her ori that's 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 it i'm just gonna call her ori because names names are hard um Yeah, that goddess Ori. Uh, just kind of, I just remembered it, and I was wondering if you knew anything about it. That's all. Um, thank you so much for the We tea. can go to the library. We can go to the library together if you want after breakfast. I'm very good at um, navigating through... crazy books and lots of topics. I mean, I don't mind going to the library, but don't we have to do that thing later? You know. We have to wield swords and Yes. I have to, Is this, yeah. is, is this goddess that you are looking for, is it urgent? No, it's not. That's why, that's why I just want, I just wanted to know, but that helps knowing that it's a dragon goddess. It gives me a starting point. So in case 
I survive coming up, of course, then we can look into deeper. I just don't want to add more onto your plate because I see that she looks at you. Do you need like yoga practice i know how to do yoga do you need do you need to like calm down as well you know, just to kind of like relax as well you know what sure she's gonna clear off books to make a space let's get some yoga stretches in yeah <laughs> yeah way. absolutely you guys you guys spend some time going through your yoga stretches um and Delphra, every time uh sin is going to make an extra effort to remind addy to breathe like <laughs> in and out come on there's no um, point in doing yoga if your breath doesn't go with it um no potatoes <laughs> no potatoes no potatoes no potatoes that is her mantra that's her ohm like every time you have to like <laughs> sit down and do ohm she goes no potatoes uh did you say potatoes <laughs> Is there anything that <laughs> Delphra and Katie uh, and Rosalind are doing? Or are you guys all going to meet up for breakfast? Delphra is adjusting her tits and then she's going. No, she's <laughs> Delphra's at breakfast first. Um, she's like there before it's even served. And she's like, do, 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 do. Um, and waiting. Yeah. Katie. Um, I think Roz would try to see... I don't know if she wants to go to the library or not and just like to see if there are books about learning languages of the dead or uh, something like that. Because she really wants to communicate with her will of the West now that she knows that it was Val the whole time. Uh, the book you would need is um is probably the one that Sin has. Been Sin has studying. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. Hundred percent. You... I've been working on this project for a couple of days now. <laughs> So I don't know how I would figure out that I need to go talk to Sin uh, uh, in game, but I maybe I'll just bring it up at breakfast or something. That's what I'll do. Well, you could, yeah. If you ask the librarian, uh, Galen, she probably tell yeah, you. You can go. You can go to the library. Yeah, I might pop in. And you get there. Galen's already there, going through the shelves. Oh my god! For for half a second. Uh, I thought that was my screen and someone was behind me. <laughs> I was like, huh. oh, okay, we're fine. Jesus. Um, I, I don't promise know why. no random children are going to come up there except for my husband with chips, wine, and dip. Yeah, oh, but- wow. Why did I think you were going to say chips, wine, and dick? Dick. I mean, he did. My bring it. brain filled that in before you hit the page. Chip and Dale is here. Chips, <laughs> wine, and dick. <laughs> and he can't hear any of that, so. <laughs> but I'm enjoying it. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, chips, wine, and dick are the best, the best three things, I think. Um, <laughs> Honey, if you're listening chips, to wine, this right dick, now, <laughs> chips, wine, and you dick. You know what to do. Yeah. I have um, all three of those things in the other room, actually. I'm kind of excited now. <laughs> I have none of those things in my house right now, so that's unfortunate. You can live vicariously through me. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> this is really good wine. So, I'm all right, just going to text somebody about that. Yep. You have headed I should, I should about have chips, wine, and dick. Oh wait. Yes, I'm going to go to the. I'm going to go to the library. Okay, you go to the library. When you get there, Galen is there. She's browsing through the uh, through the stacks. Mm-hmm. What do you do? She's gonna knock on the stack that Galen is in. I don't. I don't want to like. I don't want to immediately her. startle her, and she like sure. almost drops a book because so she sorry. is just that kind of person. She's gonna like oh, no, try to help okay. the book. Oh, uh, for in okay. case she actually drops one. Just, yeah, I'm fine. I got, I got it. Hi, 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 hi. 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 I... Uh... She looks around. Hi. Hi. What can I do for you? Well, uh, first of all, I'm Rosalind. I don't think we've met. Um, but maybe, maybe, I mean, I'm, I'm a, I'm a friend of the prince's. Um, uh huh. I know. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just throw that out there. Um, so I actually have a question slash fa- not favor. Cause like, just like, it, yeah, I have a question. So, um, I recently learned, probably should have figured this out earlier, but I, I, I can be distracted sometimes. Um, but I recently realized that 
I have this little will o' the wisp that just have been chilling out in my hair. Um, and the reason I have these freckles, um, I just realized that she is the spirit of my best friend who died at 14. Oh, yeah, that's a lot. It is a lot. Uh, okay. so hi. Um, Are you okay? no, no, I'm not. Okay, that Um, makes sense. but I would love to be able to understand her and I can't do that because I can't um, speak her language and I would like to learn how to, is there like a Duolingo for that Um, or something? I I don't know what that is. Um, Oh, okay. but It's this like fancy thing that like these, these, these machines that we have, like it, it's, a, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Whatever. Is there a book maybe that for, for that? a book on understanding the dead. Well, m most of the time when the dead talk to you, you can understand them. Will o' wisps are kind of um, well, they're different because Yeah. they're um. I'm not sure you will be able to, to understand her. Most of the time, you have to be dead. It's kind of a thing. Most of the time, you have to be dead or kind of like walking in both worlds. How how would I do that? Not the Um, dying walk in part. both worlds? I know how to die. Yeah. Um, well, you could study necromancy. Um, you could, uh, you Russ's could a ask, level six necromancer. <laughs> <laughs> Just take you a level could of necromancy. ask, um, uh, let me check her name. Hang on. I gotta get a name here. What's her name that was Nobody in the, has speak with dead in this castle. it's not, it's not the same. Will-o'-wisps are different. Mm. Oh, Morgana. Yeah. You could ask Morgana. She might be able to help you or tell you more about what will-o'-wisps are. They're, from my understanding, they're only parts of souls. They're not like the whole soul. Oh, that's not great. Um... Yeah, they're not the whole thing. What does that mean? Uh, Exactly. I don't, I, well, like, Do they have, but like, do they, do they not have memories or? more like, well, kind of, or they got split. So, like, their soul might have been split when they died. Split. Yep. What is, what do you, what do you mean? I... I don't know how to explain this to you. Um, this is a lot. And I don't feel like I'm the most qualified person to be talking to you about this. But it's kind of like, it's like, it's like, so like part of them is here and then part of them is in the afterlife or part of them is somewhere else. Or maybe somebody stopped them from crossing over and, and split them that way. Or, or um, yeah. Please don't be mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not mad at you. You're fine. I, I'm just confused. Um, Okay. that's my confused face. It's not, I'm not, I'm not mad. Um, Um, yeah, they didn't, maybe parts of them didn't want to leave. So, <laughs> oh, a part of them stayed and then they kind of become this little wisp. hmm. They don't really, the, the bells and them talking, it's only parts of words from what I understand. I don't, I've never really been able to understand one, so I'm not too sure. Like who who might who might know? Um, Morgana Other than might know, or okay. maybe, um, maybe, um, Eldrin. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know that I've met. Have I met Eldrin? Eldrion, sorry, my bad. Eldrin. No, I, I'm Prince. I'm just I'm the oh. <laughs> You've met him. <laughs> you I have slept met with him. him. I just, it took me, I, it's been a minute since I've told him anything other than that. I mean, um, we, Please okay, don't great. do that to Later, me. he's going to come to you and he's going to be like, Rosalind, I feel like you don't really like love me for me. And you're like, no, I totally do, Prince. Okay, what's my name? Chips, Daddy, Prince, wine, and come it's on. Daddy. What's my name? You know, it don't, come Say on. my name, bitch. <laughs> What's in a name, really? I mean, I don't. A rose I by feel, other any name I would feel smell like as you're sweet. just using me. <laughs> it's like throughout random For Shakespeare bullshit. <laughs> she's using him for chips, wine, and dick.
for chips on yeah, your dick. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Using them for chips <laughs> on your dick. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, well, well, then I'm gonna go have a conversation with my b- boy person. Um, I don't know <laughs> yet, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Cousin. <laughs> okay. Uh, thanks. I'm gonna Thank go you. fuck your cousin. You wolf. Yeah. Hmm? What would you You're, say? You were helpful. I okay. appreciate it. Oh, thank you. So that's a big smile. Like you could tell, like she really likes to be helpful. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bye. I'm gonna go Bye. to breakfast. You should eat though. Do you eat? Like yes, you... I'll be at breakfast. Okay. Good. Okay. Just making sure. I, I know sometimes you can get distracted and like really sucked into a book, and I just don't want you to forget to eat. And then it's like twelve o'clock at night, and then you haven't eaten at any day. I just want to make sure you're good. I feel so called out right now. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> Like, do i need to send like daily have you eaten texts to the group because i can do that oh probably i don't eat until about like (laughs) seven and then pass out Uh, that's not good uh so y'all meet for breakfast is there anything anyone wants to do during breakfast or do you get through breakfast is kathy's mom there Yes, she is attempting to talk to the prince. He is slumped in his seat and has a giant cup of coffee in his face. I am like twirling a fork in my hand, just staring at her. <laughs> yeah, you, you are staring at her. He's trying not to look at either of these the situations so that he can like have plausible deniability. <laughs> like, I didn't see that. Um, as you're sitting there, as you're sitting there, Delphra, Grim comes, like, just as he walks into the the uh, dining room, the both the, the doors go flying open. He sees you and he, like, beelines towards you, sits beside you and goes, good morning. How are you? I'm good, you? I am Fantastic. I want to know if he'll go on a date with me and blow things up. Yeah, let's go. Okay, <laughs> we'll do it tonight. I'm almost done. I'm almost done creating the first prototypes of the bomb you asked for. And we can go and blow up the buildings outside. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> this is going to be great. <laughs> and as she's saying, like, I'm so excited, she accidentally, like, lobs the fucking fork across the room. Yeah, and then you see him just make him like kind of like make himself look like he's been we're, you're really deep in conversation so that that couldn't have been you that was amazing <laughs> he loved every second of that um yeah you guys he you guys have breakfast he is beside mm-hmm. you the entire time bouncing and talking about the bomb that he made for you <laughs> and how it's going to be so much fun um I want to, um, while we're all here at the table, uh, sisters, I guess, Fleety. I'm sorry, what? His sin is going to. Sorry, wait, wait, hold on. What? What? <laughs> what now? Wait, hold on. What? I feel like we yeah. all kind of choke on our drinks at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Delphine's just trying not he, to look does... like he's leaning in to hear this. <laughs> Delphine turns it, over to Grim wait, and she's on. just like. Delphi turns over to Grim and she's just like, are any of those bombs ready now? He has one. He pulls it out. It's in this, <laughs> it's in this circular glass container. I have a question. <laughs> yeah. Uh, were you ha- mm. how do I put this? Um ha- 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 you're you have different features on your face. Bunnies you have, have different lips, mouth parts. silly. <laughs> yeah, they're not quite the same kind. No, no, it's I, just a little bit different. And I'm just yeah, wondering. I, yeah, I I kind of did it because I was, he he changed me temporarily into an elf. And then I thought, wow, I have lips. I haven't <laughs> had lips in a really long time. These are useful. <laughs> they are, but they're not usually are. used for kissing. Um, they're not actually they're they not. Are, uh, from across across from you anemone uh 
your your little your little dwarf pal is just like mm -hmm. <laughs> Do we, do we have to have Baldrick. a talk do we have to have a talk about what our bodies can do and what they are what they absolutely What's, not i'm in shock right now and, and that's what i've been saying <laughs> and marigold from down the down what lips are used for no. no, 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 no. It's just like used for drinking tea, obviously. <laughs> oh, exactly. and everybody's part of this conversation. Now. <laughs> Everyone's listening. <laughs> oh, great. So, my brothers, your brothers yeah. are like, <laughs> You did what? <laughs> Delphra's just like sitting there going, like, Okay, who cares about logistics? Who cares about what lips are used for? My question is, why? Why? What? Did you see it? Sure. Norna. I, yeah, just... why? <laughs> Norna? What? We can talk about this later, okay? Uh, we are going <laughs> to talk about this. <sighs> As he angrily stuffs food in his mouth. <laughs> it, honestly, I'm not really sure, but he was biting his lip and it was really hot. And I didn't really know what to do. And that's just kind of what I did. And I wasn't really thinking about it. And now I don't really know what to do because I don't even know really like why he even wants to kiss me. And he won't even say why he wants to kiss me. And I don't even really what know why I want to like? kiss him. What was it like? Well, it was pretty amazing. Uh huh. But I don't really have a whole lot to compare it to. Well, that's okay. I, I actually don't have anything to compare it to, so it could have you would know terrible. if it was bad. Whether you have to me compare it to or not, you would know if it was bad. I, I he doesn't look like he's a bad kisser. How do you tell? Yes, how do you tell? Yeah, how do vibe. you tell? I don't ask me questions. <laughs> that do you see the boy over that one? That pretty one over there? They're um, all pretty though. Well, shut up. That's not the point. <laughs> Which pretty boy over there? <laughs> Please don't bring me into this. Please don't <laughs> me into this. And the Chris is just looking down. <laughs> Wait, is I'm my mom paying attention to any of this? Yeah, she is just like you can see the her, the knuckles on like as she's holding her her cutlery, her knuckles are white. She is just <laughs> she's just like cutting and it's scraping the plate, and she's. She hears every second of it, and she is trying desperately not to look at you. <laughs> can I hear the scraping? Give me... Yes, you can. Give me an insight check, actually, uh, Cappy. Eleven. Eleven. She hears you. She is listening to every second of this conversation, <clears throat> And you can't, you know she's angry, but you can't tell there's something else there, but you don't know what it is. What do I do? Okay, so obviously you like this guy. Right? Well, yes? Or no? Yeah, I... Okay, so it's confusing. First, yeah, okay. I'm also it's always confusing. Yeah, now here's the here's the thing. Um, usually, when you turn from a non-humanoid human type elf-like being to a human-like elf-like being, I would presume kissing isn't really usually the first thing that comes to mind. Usually talking to people and communicating she is just i can, I can talk so i can i can talk okay. i can talk as a bunny right that's not yeah new. no no that's not new but like wouldn't it there... anyway i am confused well, equally he just, myself he got really close to me and uh -huh. he smelled like christmas or he smelled like eustace and <laughs> He's now, I, 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 have, I have a question. <laughs> how, much, how much is that feeling yours and not just, you know, Archfey magic stuff? Well, that's the thing. I don't know. 
Okay, now I will leave this to the more experienced members of our group to discuss the situation because I am completely out of my <laughs> my, my 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 safe zone. She's still scraping that bloody plate. Uh huh. Yep. I am. I'm gonna be a dick. I'm throwing my fork at her and telling her to stop. No, okay. I don't have Scraping. my fork anymore. I don't have my. You fork don't anymore. have your fork I'm, anymore. I'm grabbing Cappy's fork and telling her to stop. Are you going to see? Do that. Are you throwing it? I am throwing it. Make an attack roll. <laughs> Ooh, 23. 23. Okay, hang on. I'm getting her staff block out. <laughs> Let's go to the Moonstone Matriarchy. Um, quick question also while this is happening. Can can I insight as a nominee whether or not I see Delphra? is doing like can i insight or perceive um if forks are being thrown around and in which direction because at this moment in time um annie's been kind of focusing her attention on cappy because obviously cappy is kind of in distress about that decision even though anemone herself has no idea how relationships work yes you can insight that okay but you aren't going to be able to stop it because no. she's already done it. So yeah. you throw this, you throw this knife or or this fork. Cappy's fork. It's a fork. You hit her right in the forehead, like right here. I want three marks. Ooh. You hit her side because she's not looking at you. So side of the head, and she pushes back from the table. And looks at you and she says, I've had enough. And reaches for her sword. No. If you say roll for initiative. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, we kind of deserve it. Um, I think that Sin is going to just reach behind where she has her like bow leaning up against her chair in a just in case kind of. She's not acting. She's just. Putting she's her hand on she's sword. Delphra just like kind of pushes out her chair and stands up. She goes, The world doesn't rotate around you. Keep your damn fork down and be quiet. If you want to listen, listen. But do it quietly. You know what? I think it's time someone taught you some manners. And uh you're gonna have to roll for initiative. Oh, no way. No, 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 no. Who no. is helping out here? I, uh, yeah, I'm going to get up from the table. Um, you, you, you stand up. What do you do? Uh, so you're going to kill my friend now? Oh, I didn't say I was going to kill her, but I'm going to teach her some manners. Rosalind's going to slowly sit stand down, up. Cappy. I'm assuming Rosin's taller than her. No, she's yeah. real tall. She is, is like she? she's I'm like six today. one. <laughs> yeah. I'm not the six four orc in this one. It's fine. no, she's like six one. Roll for initiative. Yeah. Whoever is helping here, I'm helping because immediately. I love you. Uh, I'm sorry. I really need that leash. Eh? The mm -hmm. brothers, your brothers, eh? by the way, have stood up and reached for their weapons as well. Against their mama? No. Damn it. Oh. That's they. A problem. Oh, shit. They haven't said anything, but you did just attack their mom. I got a 21. Do I have any allies? With yes. Who is, that who is, before no, we roll. that's not part of our group. Do I have anyone else that stands with me? They are like, not. Does Grim, does Marigold, anybody else? They're not going to, they're not going to join the fight. I'm not going to have this be like, because this will be like eight years long. Um, <laughs> okay. Or there, they, could, there could not is... be a fight if they all stand up and basically intimidate her down. What are you saying? 
I am saying, do I have any friends that are going to stand up and be like, bitch, sit down? <laughs> uh, roll I'm, me persuasion. I'm going to be oh, you don't want me to. my oh my initiative God. or holding my action. 19. Ready 19. to step in if things are looking lethal. But Scarlet also wants to see what happens. When you did. She just say she's not going to kill you. She's just going to. She is going to hurt. Make you. <laughs> she's gonna, you're gonna. She's gonna teach you some manners. Um. You do get. You do get uh, Grim who stands up and is like, I mean, I just don't think that we have to fight. Um, this is. She won't do it again. Uh, and like very, very like calm. Trying to like calm her down Maisie's not having it um and Baldrick is kind of like sit down S sit down man so Roz is just gonna say hey babe me yes. not you oh yeah you're you're talking you're talking like, I got friends. excited yeah. for a second like no. Roz is like what mm -mm. he looks at you uh, do you want to maybe keep your dog on a leash Oh. Ooh. That you could have asked for help with so many good ways. And that was not a good one. That's um fine. she's not my dog. Hmm. Maybe she threatened my sister. This is a problem. Um, your this your sister is throwing cutlery. <laughs> okay, so... we shouldn't throw a knife. It's not like she threw a threw like I a threw dagger. A fork. She threw a it's fork into her side of the head. The second, it's a bit of an I overlooked the second, the first <laughs> fork. <laughs> is anyone else not bothered by the screech? Everyone at the is end of the table. Everyone is tense as fuck right now. <laughs> it's, it's always a dinner time and breakfast. Yeah, <laughs> always tender, tense as fuck. And he goes, <laughs> "Delphine needs to have breakfast and dinner in her room." He, your, your prince does look at Maisie and say, if you are fighting, it will not be in the dining room. And there will not be, it will not be to the death. Um, Delphine just kind of like bows and was like, your majesty, I just want her to be quiet. I don't want to fight. I just want her to show some respect like she demands to everybody else. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Throwing throwing cutlery does not <laughs> demand respect, though. Again, Neither it does um, screeching like a chalkboard. Okie dokie. Um, <clears throat> so here's the here's the problem. She needs to understand that we are of we're very protective <laughs> of each other. And certain fuzzy, small people in our group need protection. And she's a bit of a trigger for mm -hmm. us. Maybe. I'm just saying, maybe me calling her a dog was a little far. But I am very protective of the people that I love. Mm -hmm. Maisie looks at you, Delphra, and she goes, outside. Let's go. At the flagpole. Can I call Quartzly on my way out? You can call Quartzly. You can call whoever calling, you want to help you. I'm, I'm calling Quartzly and I'm like, fine, kick my ass. I'll take the ass kicking. You did it to your daughter first. You don't make it outside. So who's who's in this fight? Who you're in the fight? Okay, Kat, Kathy's in the fight. Uh anyone else? Rosalind is in the fight. And Emmy's I'll, in the fight. I'll You're in, in the fight. fight. Everybody's in Everyone's the fight. Everyone's in okay. the fight. So, roll for Clover. <laughs> roll for Clover. And Emmy, what did you get? Emmy, Emmy got an eleven, um, but only because she's like focusing on Cappy, and also the two brothers. <laughs> now that she's kind of clocked that they're looking at Cappy, I think they're they're looking time. at Cappy. They're like, what the fuck? Yeah, like why are you like yeah, why are you making yeah, us do this? Yeah. Um Cappy, what's your initiative? 21. 21. Uh Delphra. 21. 21. Okay, who has the higher decks of you two? 
Uh, I have a 12. Nope. Uh, what's the, add, what do you add to it? You're uh, 12 uh, plus one. So, you're, so I'm going to put you at 20 if that's okay. Yep. Okay. Uh, Rosalind. Say it out loud. Nine. It's a nine. <laughs> I'm like, I can't count those. I can't count that. <laughs> can't count that count high. my fingers. Um, uh, Clover. <laughs> ten. Okay. And Sin. Ten. Ten. Uh, Who has the higher AC? Uh, Dex. Um, uh, I think it's Sin who has the higher. I have decks. a plus That's three to my Dex. Okay, so I'm gonna put you at a. Um, I'm gonna put you in an eleven and Anemone at twelve. There we go. You're at 14. You're at, and you are at, I'm going to put you there. Okay. Cappy, you're going first. Yeah. As um, you guys don't make it outside. Yeah, I stand up. I, I mean... I'm sorry, I guys, but I'm not turned, at the same turned time. Her, um, and they say breakfast. It's a you little, little sexual in you, I to talk about teaching lessons when you never taught me a goddamn thing. You are pretty fucking high and mighty because it's okay as long as there's this veneer and everything looks good to the outside it doesn't matter how you actually feel about things and here you are just as barbaric how dare you how dare me i'm your mother you will show some respect you you, you have never been my mother. She ignores you and focuses on Delphra. Like you're not even a threat. Wouldn't it be a great time for a wild magic search? <laughs> Why don't right? you wild magic search? <laughs> <laughs> um just just like that just roll it do it okay i i can tell you when to do them so yeah okay oh okay okay roll on the table um right 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 he 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 where is the table it's under your computer just kidding (laughs) (laughs) sorry (laughs) okay this episode is going a direction i did not expect it to go yep (laughs) <laughs> oh my god! it was the, it was I the plate scratching it. the minute you said plate scratching that's all i heard in my head i couldn't hear anybody else <laughs> it's the dm's fault for triggering some 16. real life sensory uh oh, issues. Fucking sorry <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> Um, so for the next minute, your voice booms three times as loudly when you speak, which I so you're just fucking screaming fucking at her. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Go um, ahead. yeah. Your, so what are you doing? Um, I am going to, uh, cast polymorph on her. Okay. Whoa. And, um, make her turn bunny. her into a buddy. Yeah. Yes. <gasps> yes. Yes. Turn her into a bunny. Okay, what's the fair? It's fucking fair. Uh, 15, DC 15 wisdom. Wait, what? Are we are we level five? You level are level, you're not level five. Oh. You're level four. Four. You're level four. Yeah. Okay. It's a, it's from the staff. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. You're right. You made me think that I forgot to level up and I was, <laughs> I was like, oh no, shit. I was looking at my spell list and I was like, uh, what? 22. I have polymorph? Fucking hell. Can you I, go wait. You can go I, and you cast uh, can I, this spell. Wait, 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 wait. Do I have something? Do I have something? Do you have silvery barbs? I uh magic missile. Gain advantage? No, I can't make her gain disadvantage. Can can I use this? I want this to happen so bad. The oh! inspiration. 
Oh, yeah. So that Can would I make be for her you to roll? roll with advantage. Yeah, no, I know. I'm just saying. No, you... not for that. <sighs> okay, I don't think I'll I add that the... to your next year's thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm thinking i'm like i thought i had like a wild magic thing but i think it's only for so mm. you cast this spell you stamp this uh um staff on the ground it casts polymorph on your mom and she looks at you and she just bats her sword in its direction and the spell falters and she looks at you and just like just step aside cappy I won't let you hurt my friends. They matter more to me than you ever will. She ignores you again. Is that that's your turn, yes? Yeah. I'm not trying to hurt you mm. physically. Hurt her emotionally. Yeah. She's mm. she is ignoring you and is very much like, it's fine. I'll just I'm not gonna kill her. I'm not gonna hurt her. You should just ignore her. Just ignore Capandra. Uh Torna and Norna are looking, they're they're terrified of what's happening right now. Um, Delphra, it is your turn. What do you do? I'm just I'm gonna look at Cappy and be like, it's fine. The world can see what she does to people the minute you actually give a shit. And I'm going to cast Scorching Ray at her direction. Okay. What is uh, might not be trying to trying to kill her, but uh, I don't think Delphra has the same feels. You have to roll for each one. Yes, I know. Uh, 18 for the first. That hits. Not 20. God. That hits. And a nine. And a nine. Okay, that one doesn't hit. Um... Five for the first one. Okay. And 11 doubled for the second. 22. Okay. Yeah. Five. And then I guess it would be uh, Quartzly after. Yep. And Quartzly is going to... Uh, Quartzley's actually going to no, Cappy's not going to be willing, so he's just going to hit uh, with Flame Seed. Go ahead. Eighteen. That hits. Six. Six damage. Nice. You hit her with all of this flame. She takes a shield up to block it, but it still gets her. Um, and singes part of her face as she looks at you and she goes my turn and this black energy like she clenches her fist, fist and this black energy begins to radiate out from the top I'm of sorry it. is that your soul? <laughs> uh, and she makes three attacks at you um, let's roll these one, two, three. Is this a spell? It is an ability. Let me see. Um, Actually, let me go. Let me go look at this. I don't even question. want to know what level this bitch is at. Yeah. Sorry, I'm like, sorry, what sorry is to this? sorry sorry to ask. Um, quick oh, question. No, it is a spell. You can you can. It does say spell attack. Question. Um, I don't have I, counter spell. I'm not high enough level, but I was okay. just wondering. Yes. Sorry. Could I see that coming? Um, can I use my reaction to intercept? Okay, what does that do? Um, when a creature you can see hits a target other than you within five feet of you with an attack, you can use your reaction to reduce the damage the target takes by 1d10 plus 2. Okay. To a minimum yes, of zero damage. So, so does a 17 hit? It 17 does. will hit. It does. Oh. Okay, one more one more time. She She's unleashing three of these at you. Um, a 25. Oh, fuck yeah. Do you really ask that question? Like, come and on, a 12. that's rude. <laughs> no. The 12 does not hit. So, uh, we're on par. Okay, hang on. We're gonna roll the damage. I don't want to roll the damage. Can we First skip hit that part? First hit, your, which your, um, you're gonna block half part of this? Yeah, I'm blocking the 25. 
Okay. So this one, then you take 18 force damage. Okay. And then the one that you're blocking, mm -hmm. you're taking is 20. So, so I'm you're dead, blocking. Guys. I'm dead. Well, not no. yet. She's going to try and block some of it. Mm -hmm. okay. You need to roll your D10. Okay. I will try. Um, so how many? So I, how many I took sessions? 18. Hang on. You took 18. What? 11. Yeah. I 11. 11. And then 11. And she is not aiming to kill you. So she is not doing lethal damage, but she is aiming to knock you on your ass. What I'm it? At how? Two. You're at two. So she, you go down in like seconds. You have two hit points left. You are able to surrender if you like. I'm not surrendering to this bitch. Okay. If she kills me, she's going to kill me in a hall full of people because I was pissed she's about her. She's not going to kill you. She's going to knock you out. That's okay. She I'll take that. it for Cappy. Okay. Hashtag for Cappy. It's then <laughs> Torna's turn. And he looks at you, Cappy, and he goes, what the fuck? Just you have nothing to say? Uh, don't. Don't? Then you don't. Let them have it out. just don't want her to win every single fucking time she gets what she wants your mother looks at you she goes no i don't and then she's gonna put her sword away i think i've proved my point <laughs> and she turns around and walks away Suffers on the ground she goes yeah you proved you're a bitch do you want her to kill you <laughs> a little bit i think sin is going to like rush over to delfra to like help her up and like check her muzzle wounds. me mother her <laughs> <laughs> your and brother's under her breath there are better ways to get back at people than throwing cutlery child <laughs> <laughs> yeah don't worry we'll your find a better way at you can I take the fork and stab her in the neck in her sleep? That's probably don't do better that. than at the dinner table. But I'm sh I think we should workshop it a little bit. Don't worry. Nor Norna looks at you, uh, Capandra, and he goes, "The fuck are you spending your time with? Who the fuck? People that are actually your care. Time with? At least mine's family. Huh? I think we have learned some fucking manners, family. children." And he grabs Torna and he looks at you and he goes, I'm so disappointed. You can't sit beside your mother for what? Less an, an hour while you eat breakfast without causing bullshit? And he uh, he leaves. Courtsley's like, growling you at them. Travel with her. I'm sorry. Was she supposed to just like be okay with the fact that her mom fucking sold her? You know what? Is she okay with that? She's supposed to not have her fucking friends throw cutlery. You don't I want her friends to that, defend her? But I don't want... Uh, you threw... Are, is that I didn't her? do anything. No, that's I'm causing problems for no goddamn reason. You want to I... talk to her? You want to yell at her? That's fine. But if you if you throw shit like a toddler at a table, Let's point you'll out get what you deserve. I didn't throw shit, but now I'm no, going to defend he, that's the person to all who fucking you. did. Okay, that's fair, but like... He's yelling back at me, and I'm going to yell back at him that I'm mm -hmm. not the one throwing shit. But wouldn't, don't you want your sister to have friends who will stand up for her? Yeah. Don't you want that? But I want them to be smart about it. Again. Fucking use your brains. Sometimes shit What's happens, smart... but we have. What's the smart way to do this? Use your words and go and talk with her. Yeah, that's always. Not have your so friends well. throw fork forks and at a dinner party cappy didn't ask for so, that so we are all our a own wonderful people. book we that do what has we want. a lot of poisons i, I should uh, lend it to you <laughs> delphra is like nice. hanging off of uh um sin and it's just like i apologize for the fork but you're telling us to use words while she is scraping at tables instead of using hers there you go talk to your mom about it 
just remember also who might be your queen someday. <laughs> not my queen. <laughs> There's it's this is not this is not the the United States in like 2024 when we say not our president, okay? This is oh. different. I don't, I don't, I don't well, know they don't want to stand with the prince, and now you're this already is, pulling first of the all, queen. You're in Tamborosa. Yeah, this is not I your live queen. in Salandria. Yeah, I just thought it was funny. Uh, he, I when you say it. that though, the look he gives you, Cappy, is like seriously, like, and then just he leaves, and Tor Torna's like, you see Torna like. He's got his hand in his hair. He looks at you. He looks at you guys. He just shakes his head and walks away. Anemone is going to put down the cutlery that she used because she, in order to intercept, <laughs> she she had to take an empty silver tray to intercept the thing. And she looks at the roof and she looks at the prince. I'm sorry. Um, how much is that going to be to to fix that he just calmly gets up from the table and walks away yep. he's not he's not dealing with us anymore yeah i'll i'll deal with him later it's fine i'll i'll make it up to him what are you guys doing now you sneezing apparently bless me i think we have a mission we are supposed to be going on do we? I've forgotten yeah. entirely what we're supposed to do today. Uh, the crew going into the you are crypts. supposed to be coming yeah. to me. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's Oswald as he stands up and walks beside you. That's a good show. I apologize for that. Um, I don't. He looks at all of you and he says, I do expect you to have some table manners when you are here. We do not throw things. Delphra just kind of like hangs her head. She goes, I'm sorry. There's just a lot of trauma around Black Soul over there. He, he Hashtag Black Soul. pats your back and then he takes your chin and makes you look at him and he goes, keep trauma to after dinner, please. And, and like, uh, he, Delphra... casts, he casts healing word on you at, um, at fifth level so he's gonna heal you up give me one second while i do that that was gonna be like as he does it it's gonna be like thank you sir and like gives him a huge hug and like a tear rolls down her yeah he's face. just patting your back as he's healing you 1d4 so it is i'm like kind of like shaking my head like yeah just <laughs> <laughs> so let me roll this uh you get 22 hit points back i'm more than halfway there i think you should um take a short rest maybe before coming to see me we're taking it and uh use some hit dice to heal yourself up yeah, it might be, might, might be a good idea. You just hear like um, a heavy sigh as he gives you one last pat and turns to walk downstairs. He's got his plate. He's just like, I'm eating this downstairs. I don't care. <laughs> and he's going to take a deep breath and look at everyone and then look towards Cappy. Is that how you wanted to do this? Delphra, I love you. Shut the fuck down? Yeah. I will, no matter what you do, I will have your back if somebody's coming for it. But that doesn't mean that I think that was wise it may not have been it wise but i also didn't want you to get involved i did it because she doesn't deserve to have the attention on her we were speaking 
And she was getting angry and she has no right to be angry about any of this. I don't even know if she was really just being angry. irritating as all shit. No, I mean, I there was something else there I couldn't quite place. It was more than anger. Anger, for sure, but something else. I will give you one last retroactive insight check. Can 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 I also do that? Because I'm inciting everybody in the room. I uh 15. Uh you can do that, but you won't know you won't know her tells like everyone yeah. else. No, no, no. Could I could I give Cappy that advantage? Cause or... you want to help her with insight? Hmm. Sure, you can roll with advantage. Well, I it I automatically did the double roll, so it's a 17. 17. Okay. So You said fleety, and that's when she started to cut and scrape like she knew who that was. Mm -hmm. And she was very upset about it. Upset that I kissed him or just that we know who he is and he's we're talking to him? That one. Okay. What do you do? Um, do you want to go and talk to her? Or are you and have you healed up Delphra? I've healed up. And if she wants to go talk to her, I'm going to turn to Kathy and goes, I'll go with you. I'll keep my mouth shut. I'll stay behind you. But if she attacks, I'll die. I honestly, I don't know what to do. I don't know if I even should talk to her right now. I feel so. <laughs> she always makes me feel like a failure. You're not. The only one that failed here is her. And, well, you know, maybe me a little bit. Yeah, you know, a little bit, but. A um... tiny bit. It's also really weird that she had all this strange black magic. I don't, I always thought she was just a sword fighter person. So that that's very confusing. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Let's go talk to her, see what she had to say. I'll keep my mouth shut. Promise. Let's get some peace of mind. At least for you. Okay. So you're going to go and find your mom? Yeah, I want everybody to come with me if they will. You look around the castle trying to find your mom uh everyone seems to be like ducking out of your way just kind of like ooh, you know what i mean <laughs> um coarsely is like wrapped around my head like keeping himself as a muzzle yeah Try he's got his tail like ready to just choke you at any moment um you hear your brothers shouting and it leads to your mother's room um they're yelling and then there's quiet. Can I hear what they're yelling? Um, no, like, like that's kind of what led you to where they were, but mm -hmm. it's quiet now. You okay. just hear murmurs. Can I try and listen to what the murmurs are? Give me a uh give me an investigation check. <laughs> Three. Nope, you hear murmurs. I guess I'll knock on the door. Before you knock on the door, Yanni's yeah, like, I'm going to stand outside. You guys can go in, but I'll be outside if you need me, just out of respect that this feels like it's a, it is a private conversation, but at the same time, I'd rather make sure things are safe out here as well. And then if you need me for muscle support, I will be there. You hear quick argument of 
Who's at the door? I don't know. Answer it. And Norna answers the door. A little crack and looks out at you guys. What? You said I should use my words. Uh huh. So you brought an army? They'll stay outside. He opens the door. Can I change into a fly and be on your like <laughs> shoulder? I don't want to risk it. <laughs> okay. I do not have any weapons currently in my hands. That makes me not feel even so your much better. Support knife. <laughs> <laughs> it's not in my hands. That's all. I can. He opens oh the door and, and ushers you in. Do you guys stay outside or are you going in? Happy. Quartzley's, Quartzley's like kind of like lifts his tail while he's like giving the stink eye into the room. And Delphi just says, in good faith, let's just keep the door open. And then he shuts it in your door. <laughs> he shuts it in your face. Uh, Fair enough. Happy. What do you do? Mm -hmm. You walk in and your mother has uh, tears in her eyes. Um, she looks like enraged. Mm -hmm. She's clear like and like all of their weapons have just kind of been thrown around the room. So you can tell that they've just been like arguing. Um, tears of rage or is there something else there? Um, insight. Lots of inside rolls today. Oh, that's a three. A three. Ah, uh, you don't know. She looks mad. Good. Um, yeah, I'll walk up to her. I'll walk up to the room, I guess. I'm not going to, like, get right in her face. What? Well, I guess you don't really want to talk to me ever so I guess I'll have to start why'd you sell me you physically see her like the reaction is almost visceral like she's gotta like just hold it in you weren't supposed to be born I didn't know I was pregnant. So, kind of not really seeing how that justifies that. I sold That's something I didn't me. have. That does not explain a goddamn thing. What do you want from me, Capandra? I want to know what you did and why. What? I need you to be a little bit more specific with your word choices. I'm sorry, is I want to know why you sold me not specific enough? I think oh, that was I'm, a very I'm sorry, was it I want question. to know what you did and why? You need to be a little bit more specific. I just told you why I sold you. That you is not an answer. I was not supposed to be born is not an answer to why you sold me because those two things are not necessarily related. Tell they me are. how they connect. I was hurt. I heard your brothers crying. And we couldn't beat Thing that we were fighting and then there was someone in front of me a fay an arch fay i made a deal cappy so that i could get back in the fight and help my family you weren't born you weren't i didn't know you existed at the time i wouldn't have sold something like that you can't go back um 
sweetie? You there? He pops up beside you in his Woo. human, his elven form. Oh, hello. Your mom goes to lunge at him and Torna and Norna kind of just muscle her backwards. How could you have offered me if you didn't know I existed? I thought it would... I was done having children, Capandra. I thought it was a way to get help without having a consequence. I made a mistake. Yeah, that's uh, that's an understatement. That's a fucking understatement. Um, so proud of you. You're doing so wonderfully. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, so I've never been your child. Never been part of your family. You are my child, Capandra. Bullshit. That's bullshit. You've never treated me like a child. You've never cared for me like a child. You've never loved me like you do a child. When you say that, I'm going to see her composure. Um... Fuck, another insight check. Go ahead. <laughs> Maybe I'll do well this time. 13. 13. She, when you say you never loved me, you see her start to, there's anger there. There's a lot of anger, but she clamps down on it real fast. This will all work out in the end, Capandra. How? She's not, she's looking at, at Fleety like she's going to murder him. And he's <laughs> like, ooh, my. <laughs> <laughs> Love it when women look at me that way. <laughs> I don't know why you're so angry. You made a queen. Look at her. She's beautiful. And your mother is, like, trying to struggle through Torna and Norna and just murder. And there's a minute where they, like, they manage to, like, restrain her and throw her back and just be like, can you calm down? What do you do? I... I actually... I don't even know what you can possibly give me that would make any of this better it can't it will never be better she looks at you dead in the eyes she goes it will be there's absolutely no way that you can make up for a lifetime. You are 22. 22? Mm -hmm. Like 21? Yeah, 22, I guess. You are 20 years old. Oh, just a baby. Where else we have thousands of years. <laughs> you would actually have to have some sort of remorse or care or love or respect i don't see any of that from you that would be the first step that's not happening so tell me at what point is this supposed to get better because right now i have my entire lifetime of hurt Give me perception check. Five. <laughs> I'm rolling. Five. You're just you're, you're just bad. angry. You're rage. <laughs> yeah. Um, you don't see it, but then Torna looks at you and he goes, 
like no what Norna looks confused by the way like what do you mean no you have no idea what you're talking about somebody tell me I'm so tired of the lies and the secrets. Somebody tell me. Send your you favorite. Hear, you hear a faint whisper from behind, behind the door. Use your words. <laughs> she picks up some random like item and just whips it at the door. You hear a thunk and... Oh, so mature, mother. Send your fae away. No. Then I won't tell you. I don't trust that you'll tell me the truth. At least with him here, I have somebody else in the room who was there. Thank you. That's Norna. So much. Is he saying that to me? Or... Yep. <laughs> you say, I have somebody else in the room that was there. Thanks. I don't fucking matter. Norna, you said earlier that you were not actually witness to the conversation. That's what I'm talking about. It's not about you not being What do you want to know about the conversation? The I'm trying to understand why you did what you did. And all you're giving me is... My family was going to die. I understand that. But you made a choice... That I was going to be the thing you put on the table in the bargain. You weren't supposed to be a thing. You weren't supposed to be alive. I bargained something I didn't have. And then Fleety goes, he shrugs and he goes, I don't think she knew, but you were there. I saw you. What did you say? What do you mean, what do you say? Uh, I'm talking to my mother. What did you say? To Fleety. What did you offer? The exact words. I. She. You see her. It takes her a minute. Like she hasn't. She actually has to go back. Because it's. It was a point where she was like. Adrenaline was pumping. She was injured. She goes. I asked. For the power. To save my family. And I offered him, when he asked what he, he was going to get from this, my unborn child, I never planned to have one. Lady, who said that first? Who said that first? Who said child first? She did. I didn't ask for a child. Why would I ask for a child? What did you ask for? I didn't ask for anything. I said, what would I get? You have to make a deal to get the magic. So, mother, what did you say? I just told you. You said that he asked for your child. I said That's... I would give it to him. He asked me what he would get. And I said something I didn't think I had. You said, I will give you my child. Is that what I'm understanding? You didn't exist to me. I, I didn't just know you were asking for your words. I'm not asking Are you for not understanding them because I think I've been clear. No, you haven't actually. You haven't been clear at all. What was. <laughs> The sentence. I'll give you my unborn child for a place of honor in your court. A place of honor for you? For them. You thought you were getting away with something. Yes. I wasn't I mean... exactly thinking straight. I was listening to my son's cry. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the 20 years after that. 
tell me about that. Because you still don't have an excuse. This is not an excuse. Thank you. I was waiting for that one. I'm sitting over here like, I could forgive that one. Make your faith leave. Why? You want me to tell, talk to you about it? Make your faith leave. Why? Do it or don't know. You can, again, roll an inside check on her. Okay. You're doing so Let's well see. tonight. Let's see if I can get a five. Oh, I got a 19. Woohoo. She's been scheming. And she can't. She doesn't want to say it with Fleety around. She, she can't, she's been scheming. Mm -hmm. Um. Hmm. Lady, why don't you wait outside? Just right outside, just very close to the door. Bye. And he walks to the door, opens it. He goes, hello, to the girls outside. <laughs> I'm like, do I have message? Do I have some way of telling I him am, to, to eavesdrop? I am I am just staring down Fleety like, you kiss my child, I will beat your ass. But I don't you do look anything. so lovely today, Delphra. <laughs> and he walks out and he sh slams the door. This guy's <laughs> sadistic as hell. <laughs> I don't want to know his kinks. <laughs> um, and oh, I do. He hands, by the way, he hands you an apple, mm -hmm. uh, Delphra. Is Delphra still a have... fly? So she never went to a fly. No, I never went to a fly. Oh, I thought I was imagining a fly this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> this will help. Uh, Quartzly, like with his like tail, grabs the. Uh the apple because he knows that Delphra is about to like take the apple and just throw it at the back of his head. <laughs> so Quartzly just like snaps it out of her hand with his tails and just like chucks it. No, what he way. does is try and like put it in your mouth. Pay food, okay, pay, let's food, go. pay food, it's, pay food, pay food, it, pay food, pay food. It's in my mouth. I'm not chewing that bitch. It was not accepted by Delphra. It was accepted by Quartzly. Okay. So you put it in your mouth and you feel better. You all any bruises you had heal up. You're you feel good. And if you aren't at full health, you are now. Woohoo! Um inside. Your mother takes out a scroll and casts silence on the door area outside. So that they can't hear past there. Not exactly where you guys are. And she. I have treated you. I know I have not. Been a good mother. I'm aware of that. Captain Andrew. I did not do well. After. Your father passed. And then I was pregnant. And then there you were, and I couldn't deal with it. And then you started to grow, and you looked just like him. You have his eyes. I spent these years trying to get stronger so that I could Kill the Archfey of Eustace, and you wouldn't have to go. And I made deals with people to get the strength that I needed to do so. You are 20 years old, and I know I have been horrible for these 20 years. But once I deal with Eustace... We have the rest of our lives for me to make up for it. I just have to 
deal with youth students? Um, do my brothers, is this news to them? Norna looks like he's never heard any of this. Torna looks like he knows all of this. So he already knew about the deal? He knew so much that your mother was trying to get power and making deals for you, not not really understanding why. It had something to... He figured it was just to do with your curse. I... Why did you have to treat me like this? That's not... I don't see how that is factors into this plot at all. I can't be attached to you. What? I can't know you because I gave you away. And if I can't keep you or save you, I don't want... I can't break like I did before. I won't come back from it. Yes, I am selfish. I understand that. It's not. I just need a little bit more time. It's it's not it's not it's not good enough. You've already lost me. You've. Once I deal with Eustis, I will make no. it up to you. No, no. All of this, all of this, all of this work, and you already. You lost me. She you? nods. You get the vibes that she's like very much like, we have time. Like, you know how elves are just like, we have time. You'll get around. Mm -hmm. We'll get around to it. Yeah. Forever patient. Mm -hmm. I, I think that if you... If you wanted, if you actually wanted to make it up to me, you could have started at any time. I can't do it until after I kill Eustace. I can't, I can't know you until after that. That's, that's bullshit. That's, that makes absolutely no sense. Because if you actually believed that you could kill Eustace, then you would have no reason not to love me. But yet... I can't yet. I think you... I think that you are absolutely deluded in thinking that you're ever going to make any of this up to me. That we're ever going to be family... Norna is very torn in this moment. Um, he's... He puts a hand on your shoulder. I don't know. I don't know what to say, Gabby. But I don't want you to go. go you mean down to the crypts I... no i don't i want you to come home and i want you to be part of our family and whatever the, we have to do to deal with eustace let's do it so that you don't have to go to the Please. Feywild. yeah I want you to be my brothers. I, you are my family. She'll never be my family. That's, I mean, there's just, I can't, I, there's nothing I, I cannot. I spent my whole life thinking that I had done something wrong, that I, 
didn't deserve love because I'd done something wrong. And thinking that because I had become a bunny, that I had no choice in that, that somehow I deserved not to be loved because of that. And all of this time, all mothers ever wanted was for me to look the part. And that's... Your mother, she shakes her head. She doesn't say anything. Torna, Torna is fighting not to say something. But it wins his, his, it wins out and he doesn't. Say it, Torna. He shakes his head. No, that's not for me to say. I don't know what I thought would happen. We can talk again soon. I don't really see a point. All right, then. my mother we will see each other again sorry goodbye Maisie you say that and she like there's you get some cut eye and I walk out of the room as On you the other walk side. out of the room Quartzley's gonna like drape himself in like a cuddle around you Yeah, it's okay. I didn't hear anything. Did, we it's... heard, right? No. No way. No, she cast silence on the door. I, um... I was more speaking of above don't... table. Are you guys good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, all right, good. Yeah, yeah, Continue. we're fine. And now, yeah. now... All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you. I get you. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, so Roslyn's going to ask the same question to Cappy, though. I. I don't know. I. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought maybe there was, like, if I knew more, maybe that would make a difference. But the thing is, it didn't. None of. Doesn't change anything. Would it be possible if we take this conversation away from the store? Sure. Let's go yeah. somewhere where it's just us. Do you guys want to like can... have the conversation on the way down to the Yeah, can we just go to the crypts? I Yeah. There's not really a whole lot to say. So... I kind of just want sh- to fight something. You see as you're walking away, um Lady just kind of like stands there for a minute and just like I suppose I'll go home then. Yes. See you in a hundred years. See you. Hold on. <laughs> See you during Eustace. <laughs> um and right. then many... got work to do. Yeah. Coarsely hisses at him. <laughs> oh stop that. That's just to the dog to to the to the fox. I would stop that. <laughs> well then. <clears throat> I suppose I'll come when I'm cold. And he disappears. Did he look offended? 
Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I can say, man. He did. It's going to be like, you know, the Eustace lizard was very important to my village and very magical, but getting to know him is kind of ruining the magic of Eustace for me. I would also <laughs> like to they point out that you guys that asked me heroes. for what you know about Fey rules, and um, respect and politeness is one of them. And you guys do not give that to him at all. <laughs> Sin has been polite, but she's still kind of observing all this unravel I, I, and I, is like, Ugh. I haven't said shit. My fox is just hissed at him repeatedly. I'm just saying. I, I ate his food. Yeah, just like, yeah. Pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Like we we could have been. We I could just, be worse. you know what? Just we watch could, it like, back. Love watch the, at watch the games back. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't <laughs> thrown knives at him yet. No, no, you have. I not. haven't thrown a fork. <laughs> not yet. Um, yeah, you I'll guys just... have this conversation as you head down to the crypts to see Brother Oswald, who has just finished his his breakfast and put it aside. Um, and we'll pick up here next game where you guys finally <laughs> get into the crypt. <laughs> Sorry, Oops. no, it's great. It's great. That was that was. <laughs> Very much needed RP, especially for Cappy's character and her arc. Much earlier than I intended to do it, so well, Ooh, yeah. <laughs> like first of all, the like scraping, like I literally heard it in my head, and I couldn't yeah. get it out of my uh -huh. head. Me too. Me I, I so was like, much. like <laughs> so, so I kind of like played my character to my personality as well as her personality. Over, like, we're gonna protect the sisters but also the amount of trauma over that conversation i'm just saying okay because i'm gonna make you have bitch. to have like i'm gonna have to make actual stat blocks for every fucking npc in that game in in this <laughs> in this thing for next or, fight or somebody gets me a leash you know what it, you if you don't want to do that a great like time saving tip is just have like a table on hand that shows like what the DMG says is average damage for a certain CR and what their proficiency bonus is. And then just I should, know. I should definitely then, have that table. When they're at, like if they're fifth level, they usually have two attacks. If they're higher, they have three attacks. So if you kind of know the range of a light attack, medium attack, heavy attack, plus proficiency bonus and what their like ability score bonus would be, if you just have that a table on hand, you can very easily wing it when it comes Do to. Do you have a table like that? It, all these tables are in the DMG. I can okay, put okay, together. Okay. I was going to put one together for me uh, because it, if you have to do something on the fly, that way it's like balanced and it makes sense for their CR. Uh, it might not have all the fun little features and cool things that most higher level stat blocks have, but at least you know, okay, if a, a CR 13 guy hits me with his sword and he's strength based, I know their proficiency bonus is this. I know that a sword yeah, does this much damage. I definitely need to get that. I have never read the DMG. Oh. <laughs> I just started, I just started DMing. I was like, I, I've never read the player handbook. I was just like, everything I learn, I do, I've done through game and, I, and then I research it on my Fair. own. Yeah, Fair. Same. I, I'm just I, saying, no, at the end of the, session before we end because i won't be here next session all you see is quartzly going into delphra's bag and like throwing forks back up the uh staircase. <laughs> no more no more no, no forks. forks no forks you get no you. cutlery you no cutlery you your hands going forward that's fine that's fine i'll <laughs> be honest she has so many forks in her bag to begin with <laughs> she's been she's been every she's been, like every meal she just everywhere. keeps them um <laughs> i use it. it for my hair okay <laughs> oh it's a okay. dingle hopper. hopper it is all this literally how many things are we going to talk about tonight that start with the word dingle or <laughs> yeah, something along those lines dingleberry uh, you dingle. have an inspiration by the way in dingling chat. so write that down you can use that later or <clears> guidance <throat> sorry you have a guidance my who does eyeliner. you do oh I Cappy. Do. yeah you got a guidance i just saw it um you also had a hand of fate at the beginning of the yes, session. Yes, I have been, I have them all written down. I use them as, because uh, it's disadvantage for her attacks. I use them for those three attacks. She had a, she had a disadvantage for each one. Can we just say at least I got a hit on that? I'm proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Uh, her whole <laughs> thing is that she's been trying to power level since Cappy was born after her, you know, 
Look, I, I knew I know, that so. she was gonna, she could solo all of us at the same time, and I'm like, God damn it, do I have to fight this thing? <laughs> uh... he, she wouldn't. The prince would definitely have not let her kill you, but he was like, you threw a fork twice. I ignored the first time. You can, de- you're gonna ha- like, come on. I told you not to do it in my in my fucking dining room. Fine. You know what? Fuck this. And he just walks away. The bitch <laughs> deserves it. Call off yeah. your dog. Bitch. Seriously. He, he's just like, I'm out. I'm out. Um, okay, so I am I Sneeze Stars, and I have been your Jake and Sovereign this evening. Um uh Cappy. Hi, I have been Cappy once again bringing the family drama and trauma. And I go by Star. You can find me at Star Mama C on TikTok. You can listen to my podcast, Characters Without Stories, where I interview people about characters they haven't had a chance to play yet. I have a new episode that just came out today. And I'm going to pass it to Katie. Hi, um, Katie, Dungeon Mistress Katie and all the things. Um, you can find me at Dungeon Mistress Katie on all of the platforms, um, except Blue Sky because they're stupid and they have weird things. I can never remember what it is. I don't know. Something with DM Katie or DM something in it. I don't know. Um, that was helpful. And tonight I was uh, Rosalind Alara, your shenanigan instigator. <laughs> <laughs> I think that title goes to Delphra. Yeah, I, yeah. I realized that. I was like, <laughs> super helpful with having com- with calming it down though oh man uh delfra go ahead take it away <laughs> hi i'm delfra Del- delfra hi uh do i know who i am i'm not sure. i don't know who are you i don't know but i feel like i should have a fork around here somewhere and i don't and that's surprising anyways um i'll bring one to mm. next time uh <laughs> i'm mommy kalik and uh that's all I got. Bye. Check out her goddess teacup store. I That's it. That's it. I'm I'm kind of like sitting here going, uh, I want to throw a fork still. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> uh did, Scarlet, did you go? I'm Scarlet 64. <laughs> In the it's middle of a yawn. Nap time. Uh you can find my dessert dragons on my website. I'm actually making a new pack. It'll be available for purchase in the next couple days when they arrive. It includes a creme brulee dragon, a churro dragon, an apple pie, a cinnamon roll, and a pazuki. That's oh my god, I love it so much. Yeah. You say that? I call I, I call it the Applebee's dessert date night dessert <laughs> pack. <laughs> uh yeah and um i play D on my channel all the time so take it away who take it away nadine hello my name is gm of revan you can call me in that was that was intense man gonna need some aftercare i'm um, <laughs> so sorry yeah yeah and annie is like already buffeted with emotions and now she has to process that and goes you know you know you should come see us next Saturday to see how well we do. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you should do. Um, I think has Katie. We've we all gone. We've all gone. Yeah. We've all gone. Yeah. I okay. Was, so that first and yeah. last time that's happened today. <laughs> I love you guys. We will see you next Saturday. Okay. I love you. Bye bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.